Hi guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we'll be using a free plugin called Saber in order to create uh, some light bulb animation. So we'll start with a new composition uh, with the 1920 into 1080. The next thing is I'm going to use an image uh, for a reference. See here, I have a light bulb uh, image uh, which we'll be using as our base. And on this image only, we'll be start uh, creating some light effect uh, using the Saber plugin. So first we'll just align the image and everything and then we can just lock it. Once that is done, in order to assign Saber effect, we need to create a solid. So we'll just create a solid and name it as Saber. And uh, it doesn't matter what color you pick. Uh, after that, uh, once you installed Saber, uh, plugin uh, you can just get it from video copilot website and uh, once that uh, uh, you installed saber you can just drag and assign it onto that uh, uh, solid we created after that uh, in the beginning itself we have a lot of options uh, you can actually uh, select and experiment with uh, any of these effects uh, available there and here for uh, our animation we will be going with electricity so for our animation we are going with electric and from there we can just select any colors you want i'm just going with the traditional color of like uh, dark orange uh, in order to you know uh, resemble it as a, bulb, a light bulb so after that uh, there are a lot of options uh, we can actually uh, experiment with uh, and uh, you know uh, play with uh, in there itself and uh, once you just play it back you can see uh, uh, it's actually animating and uh, it actually gives off a really nice effect as well and if you don't want that uh, we have a lot of options and we'll be uh, editing each of that to you know uh, get to our preferred output the first thing is we have to increase the crow uh, like we can change the core size uh, like if you want it to be like much more brighter or you know you want the cores to be much more thicker you can just play with those values like uh, uh, glow bias and uh, core size and uh, glow spread and uh, things like that and uh, intensity and the, like basic settings there uh, after that we have an option called uh, you know core customize core there we can actually uh, change uh, like uh, start size and the end size and as well as offset of our saber uh, offset in the sense we'll be able to animate it uh, just like we'll animate uh, using trim path uh, options and uh, there we have you know uh, a lot of options there you can actually go and uh, experiment with these values and uh, you'll be able to identify uh, by playing with these values you'll be able to identify uh, what's the actual uh, changes are affecting our uh, saber effect so uh, one by one we have a lot of options like customizing core flicker and uh, distortion and uh, in the distortion option we will be reducing the distortion amount uh, glow distortion so we will not get uh, that kind of you know uh, fog uh, and uh, that kind of effect because we will not be usually seeing that kind of effects uh, in that uh, bulb animation uh, like uh, traditional bulb animations so uh, instead uh, if you want we can just add a little bit of distortion in the core distortion menu uh, so we have like a little bit of sparking uh, kind of animations here and there and like i said it's actually up to you there are a lot of options i'm not going over uh, everything i'm just going over with the basic things and in order to make uh, things transparent you can go to the render settings uh, in the settings you can just select uh, instead of black you can just select uh, transparent so the next thing is we are going to use a uh, layer mask in order to uh, animate uh, things so once you select that uh, layer and created a mask uh, just a single line or something like that you can just uh, in the customize core option you can just select a layer mask in order to assign that and after that you can just go to render settings and uh, change it uh, render settings to transparent so only our saber effect will be visible once that is done uh, you can just uh, uh, edit that uh, masking to match with our uh, bulb uh, light bulb coil 
so here i am just uh, creating uh, uh, the mask and uh, you know uh, following along with the coil design and uh, after that uh, uh, we'll be once we uh, re-enable uh, the saber effect i uh, will be able to see how it's actually uh, looking and uh, uh, we can make uh, any changes uh, thereafter as we want so i finished the basic design after that we have to you know add some uh, little bit of uh, curves here and there uh, to match with the coil as well so uh, you don't have to uh, just uh, use uh, bulb or anything like that you can just use lot of options for this uh, this plugin uh, normally people use it to create uh, um, uh, basically neon uh, text effects and titles things like that that's the main basic uh, things you know normally everyone uses but according to uh, uh, your creativity and how you want the result to be you will be able to use it uh, in a wide uh, range of uh, areas and you will be able to create uh, something extremely interesting and you know beautiful so uh, right away you can see it's actually looking uh, really good so uh, we'll next thing is we have to start animating so uh, the next thing we are going to do is we are going to split our saber layer into two different layers so the first part will just add some flickering animation uh, like uh, usually when we get uh, things like that so after that uh, the first thing is we have to adjust that uh, offset value uh, so we'll be editing the start offset and uh, we'll just uh, align it uh, the effect only to the coil so after that uh, the next thing is we have to animate uh, a flicker animation using the enable glow option so we'll add a keyframe for that and once you add a keyframe uh, you can just move to few frames and turn it off and on again until you get a you know a desired flicker kind of animation usually when we get you know uh, when we turn on some old kind of light or something first it will be flickering for a few seconds after that uh, eventually the light bulb will be glowing so that's the kind of effect i am looking for and i am just uh, you know uh, not going like uh, extremely detailed or, uh, or anything like that we are just making something uh, uh, a basic uh, flickering animation so it may it looks a bit more interesting rather than straight away animating something like that so straight away you can see uh, we are seeing some little bit of flickering and uh, for the second layer what we'll do is we have to animate uh, the light by will be start getting uh, the uh, it's actually getting the uh, uh, electricity and it start glowing so for that also we'll be animating that uh, offset values uh, we can st uh, animate uh, the start and uh, end offset values in order to animate them uh, we'll be uh, animating the end offset value and uh, because we want that uh, electricity to be coming from uh, the bulb bees and it's actually uh, going up and uh, finally uh, I mean, so for start value we'll put at zero and we'll add a keyframe at the beginning of the layer and then we'll give to uh, move to a few seconds and we can just increase the value to 100 so you can see uh, it's actually gradually uh, that effects is, uh, the electricity is actually uh, coming up and uh, animating and uh, since we have an, a small extension and there we'll uh, animate uh, the start offset as well uh, in order to cut off that extension uh, so uh, we can just uh, time that animation however you want and i'll be adding some easing uh, for the layers as well by pressing f9 on the uh, after selecting the keyframe and pressing f9 on the keyboard then we'll go to the graph editor and make it a little bit sharper so uh, we have a you know uh, a much uh, better is so uh, straight away you can see the animation and uh, it's looking nice and after that uh, if you want you can just add extra glow uh, for the bulb uh, light bulb and things like that here i'm not going to do any of that i am just going with uh, the basic saber effect and uh, like i said before you can just time uh, how that uh, uh, start uh, start offset animation 
comes uh, it's at, uh, up, up to you only and uh, you can just uh, change the colors and experiment with these things and the next thing is we can see uh, right now the saber effect is on top of the bulb so we have to um, uh, add some masking in order to uh, make it a bit uh, uh, different so what we'll do is we have to um, some areas we have to add a mask so we'll start with the shape layer and uh, following the image itself we will mask out uh, wherever uh, that coil is actually going behind uh, the main area and after that uh, we can um, one thing you have to make sure is all of these shapes you have to create in a single layer then you can just uh, connect it to our track mat options and uh, you know uh, you can just uh, turn on the masking and after that uh, if you have sharp uh, corners like i have here then you can just add a bit of a you know uh, fast blur effect uh, and uh, straight away you can see it's actually making a bit uh, a lot of difference compared to before uh, we are actually seeing an uh, effects like uh, the coil is actually the animation coil is actually going behind uh, the layer here uh, you can just uh, connect uh, that uh, particular layer to the first layer as well so uh, make sure that uh, you also uh, mask that as well so i hope you guys uh, like the video and learn something new and if you like the video and want to see similar videos uh, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification so you'll get uh, notified whenever i upload uh, such videos and uh, i hope you guys learn something new and uh, thank you for watching